Ukraine is negotiating with the US and Sweden to receive F-16 or Gripen fighter jet. The Minister of Defense of Ukraine, Alexei Reznikov, recently noted that the Swedish Saab Gripen fighter jet is one of the preferred options for upgrading the Ukrainian Air Force. Ukraine may not have the financial means to buy these fighter jets, so Ukraine may use American funds to buy these fighter jets either from American or Swedish inventory. Speaking to U.S. lawmakers recently, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky made a strong plea for the United States to help Kyiv acquire military aircraft to fight Russian invaders and maintain control of its airspace. Among other possible options, there have been a lot of talks lately about the Swedish Saab Gripen or Lockheed Martin F-16 Fighting Falcon. In this video, let's examine which fighter jet could be a better option for Ukrainian Air Force. Comment below and let us know your thoughts on delivering fighter jets to Ukraine. I will consider three factors for choosing aircraft for Ukraine, funds to maintain fighter jets, the time required to train pilots and ground crews and the infrastructure needed to launch mission-capable fighter jets. I think F-16 and Gripen are two aircraft that fit the bill for Ukrainian Air Force. You may comment below about the F-15, Eurofighter Typhoon and Dassault Rafal fighter jet. I will rule out all three fighter jets because Ukraine does not have funds to upgrade facilities, nor will it have time to undergo complex training for pilots and ground crews. Ukraine needs a skilled workforce to maintain these aircraft or the supplier has to send contractors to work in war-torn Ukraine. The F-16 Fighting Falcon The US F-16C would come in healthy supply, although some analysts say it wouldn't be the perfect fit for the current mission facing the skilled Ukrainian pilots. While it could offer a medium to long-term solution for the country, it copes better with more comfortable landing conditions than those currently available in war-torn Ukraine. It lacks a short landing capability and needs plenty of maintenance support from advanced bases. Ukraine is pushing for deliveries of the F-16 Seed Block 50, primarily for air-to-air -air combat and to eliminate potential Russian cruise missiles. Ukraine will soon receive NASAM's anti-air missile with AIM-120 AMROM, Ukraine can interchangeably use AIM-120 AMROM with F-16 Fighting Falcon. The Saab Gripen The Ukrainian Air Force could be receiving the Gripen C variant, not the latest Gripen E variant. In addition, the JAS-39 Gripen was developed in such a way that it could be operated from unprepared airstrips or sections of highways. It would be very appropriate for Ukraine, with not the highest quality runway coverage. The Gripen C has seven external payload bays carrying MBDA MICA, Raytheon AM-120 AMRAM, and Raytheon AM-9L Sidewinder air-to-air missiles. The RBS-15F active radar-guided anti-ship missile and MBDA Taurus KEPD-350 long-range missiles could create an impossible environment for Russia to operate from Black Sea and Crimean airbase. A better fit for their current demand is the Swedish Gripen, which is simple to maintain, Saab claiming it can be refueled and rearmed in 10 minutes to rejoin the fight quickly. However, there may be more political complications for Sweden, a neighbor to Russia, sending the Gripen warplane to Ukraine. Of course, we still do not know for sure whether the Swedish Gripen aircraft will appear in service with the Air Force of Ukraine, but their appearance is very desirable. It could fundamentally change the situation in the airspace of Ukraine, that is, the course of the war itself. The Russian invaders have nowhere to escape from Sobgripen. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.